Hello, hello, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a force morph into your game. So, first, you should probably just click play first, so just test your game. And then you're gonna, gonna want to go into workspace and copy in your character. Make sure you um, just highlight everything inside of it. And then exit. And then paste it into workspace. And then click group. So now you've got your character. And you can just customize this however you want. So I might just remove the shirts and the pants just so you can tell the difference. And just I'm just going to remove everything. So we can change the body colors and stuff. So we can make this like this, whatever this color is. And yep, yeah, so once you've done customizing, you're gonna want to name it the starter character exactly as I do, and then you're gonna want to move it into starter player, and then add in humanoid starter player, and then it should work. So we click play. Yep, my character's changed, it's not my normal avatar anymore. So I'm also going to show you how to add effects to your avatar as well, just quickly. So, you're going to want to go to, click on, so if, say you wanted to add like a fire trail to your avatar, or to your character or something, you'd um, have to add an effect. So you click on effects, and you get fire. Now it has the fire effect. And you can just basically just change this however you want, you can up the heat. So once you're done customizing, just make sure you move starter character back into starter player. And then when you click player, yep, there it is, it has the effect. So that's gonna end it that's gonna do it for this video. This was a little shorter than I expected, so I think I might actually release two to two tutorial videos tonight. But other than that, see ya!